Hey guys, I got a request to make a video around data scientists versus actuaries. So what we're going to do in this video is look at each of these career paths and compare them. So let's start with the data scientist. What do they do? Well, they're going to be doing a lot of research and design. They're going to be looking at databases. How do they store data? How do they retrieve data? Then they're also going to be exploring data, mining it off the internet, maybe taking all of that and putting it in pretty graphs, you know, visualizing the whole thing. They're also going to go into the whole ethics and the privacy, you know, preventing hacking and all that. Uh, they'll also do a lot of statistical analysis. That probably will be the biggest chunk. And then finally, they're going to be communicating their results. So that's kind of like the job description of a data scientist or it's some sort of curriculum if you were to study that. So what about an actuary? Well, an actuary is all that a data scientist is, plus a mathematician, plus an economist, plus a statistician, plus a demographer, plus a business analyst, plus a risk analyst, plus a programmer, plus a portfolio manager, plus a regulator, and plus a financial advisor. You can see the actuarial role is much broader. Um, I even had to do a little exam. It was a multiple choice one around law and legal stuff. So actuaries are much broader than data scientists. But, uh, oh, there we go, and many, many more. Uh, but the thing is, to become a data scientist, you probably need around 20 months. So just short of two years or two years with a good holiday in between. Whereas to become an actuary, you're looking at a minimum of seven years. And the reason for that is a data scientist on this whole pyramid of data, information, knowledge, wisdom, they're going to be focusing very much at the bottom. So a data scientist looks at data, as their name suggests, and they're going to be looking at all the ways that they can turn data into information. And this is a very, very important role because of the world we live in where there is so much data. So they're going to be converting that data into information. Whereas an actuary is someone who sits more at the top between knowledge and wisdom. So they need to know how to turn data into information, but they need to have a lot of knowledge across various disciplines so that they can make wise decisions when it comes to pension funds or life insurers or other financial you know, juggernauts that have massive impacts on the economy. So they need to know all this stuff and have some sort of wisdom. Whereas your data scientist is focusing on what's the most efficient way to turn data into information. But funnily enough, the salaries for data scientists are very, very high. We can see it's £35,000 per year. And if you read there, it says this is for people who have less than 10 years of experience. So this is quite a junior role and they're getting quite a high salary. In fact, the salary is almost exactly the same as a student actuary. The thing being, though, as an actuary, your salary is expected to increase drastically as you continue your career, whereas a data scientist, you're kind of going to stagnate at that starting salary, which is quite high, though. It is a good starting salary as a data scientist. Probably the biggest con is that as an actuary, you're going to have to write a million exams. The reason why I'm not giving an exact figure is because they keep introducing new exams. And depending on what country you're in, you're going to maybe write a few more or a few less. I think I've written 15 exams so far. I might have lost count because, like I said, there are lots of exams. There's also some small multiple choice ones that you do online um, that I haven't really spoken about on this channel. But there are a lot of exams around the actuarial profession. Whereas for a data scientist, good news, there are no exams. It's, it's not a professional uh, body where there's, you know, it's heavily regulated and you have to pass an exam before you can call yourself a data scientist. That doesn't exist. So if you don't like exams, data scientist is definitely the career for you. But just remember that an, an actuary can be a data scientist, but a data scientist can't be an actuary. They need to do more things, like we said, uh, you know, economics and mathematics and have to do a whole bunch of more more things. So I'm going to say that an actuary is better than a data scientist. But remember, I have a lot of bias. My YouTube channel is called MJ the Student Actuary, not MJ the Data Scientist. But data science, I, I love it. It's, it's actually something that I'm busy doing at the moment. I'm learning more, more about Firebase and storing and retrieving data. And when I was young, I read this book called Super Crunches, which was all about data science 
And I fell in love with the topic, and it's actually one of the reasons why I pursued actuarial science. So it is a great, great career choice, and it's almost as good as being an actuary, but being an actuary is always going to be the number one career choice. So if you can do that, do that instead. But I highly recommend reading this book to get a better overview of what a data scientist does and some of the cool things that can come from that knowledge. Thanks guys for watching. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Cheers.